Your Android is like a basket full of personal or corporate information that you wouldn't want to hand over to just any stranger. That's why you take steps to secure your Android device and the data that it holds. One great way to secure the data on your Android phone or tablet is through encryption. Hello, I'm Mark. Welcome to Android Authority. In this episode, I'm going to talk about encrypting data on your Android device. I'll talk a bit about encryption as well as how to encrypt your Android phone or tablet. Encryption is the process of scrambling information, thereby making the data no longer recognizable or understandable by unauthorized parties. The process can be reversed. It's called decryption, and one will need a decryption key. Through decryption, the scrambled data can be made comprehensible again. Because scrambled data is practically useless to anyone who doesn't have a decryption key, encryption is actually a strong way to keep your data secure. I'll use a simple illustration to show how encryption works. Let's say you have the word Android as text data on your phone, and you want no one to be able to read it. So, you decide to encrypt it. For purposes of simplicity, let's use a very simple substitution key to scramble the text. Let's substitute A with C, B with D, C with E, and so on. So, when encoded or encrypted, the word Android will become this. It doesn't look like a word, eh? It has become just a meaningless string of letters, except for those who know that C stands for A, P stands for N, and so on. A similar thing happens to your data when you encrypt it, although in a more complex and sophisticated way than just substituting A with C. As you can see, encrypting your device can further secure your data. It won't prevent your Android from being stolen, but it can prevent a thief from using your encrypted data, unless the thief is smart enough to know how to decrypt the data. For most people, setting a PIN or password lock usually suffices for keeping prying eyes away. For those who need tighter security, there's encryption. If you're considering encryption for your Android phone or tablet, take note of a few important things. First, your device could show some lag after encryption. The process uses device resources. Slow devices with limited resources could suffer a performance hit. The lag will depend on factors such as processor, RAM, and disk read-write speed. Second, initial full disk encryption can take a long time, depending on the amount of data to encrypt. Don't ever interrupt your device while it is in the middle of encrypting. You could permanently lose some or all of your data. Third, once you encrypt your device, there's no turning back. Encryption is irreversible. The only way to return it to an unencrypted state is to reformat your device and lose all your encrypted data in the process. Fourth, you will not be able to use either swipe or pattern as your screen lock. If you've grown overly attached to either of them, you'll have to learn to live without them if you want an encrypted phone. Lastly, you will need to enter your password or PIN every time your encrypted device boots up, since the PIN or password is also your decryption key. You could say it's inconvenient, but I think it's a small price to pay for tighter security. If these warnings don't deter you, then go ahead and encrypt your Android device. I'll show you how. First, set up a PIN or password as your screen lock. It will be used as the decryption key. Some devices impose minimum requirements for the PIN or password, such as on the Galaxy S4. Just comply with manufacturer's restrictions. Once your screen lock is set, go to the Settings menu, then tap Security. Tap this to go to the Encrypt Phone page. The menu location may be different on other devices. On the HTC One, for example, you'll find it by going to Settings and then tapping Storage. At the Encrypt Phone page, you'll see some reminders and warnings. Read and understand them. At the bottom, you'll also see info about your battery power. You'll see recommendations to charge your phone if needed. Encryption can only proceed if your device has enough power. If everything is ready, tap this button. Enter your PIN or password for confirmation. A final prompt or warning message will be shown. Confirm that you want to begin encryption by tapping this button. There! Your device will now reboot and start encrypting data. You will see a progress indicator during the encryption. It can take some time, so you might want to let the phone do its job unattended. Once encryption is done, your device will reboot and ask for your decryption key before it boots back to normal mode. Just enter your PIN or password. Your device will then decrypt your data and boot into normal mode, ready for you to use. And you're done! You have successfully encrypted your Android phone. Some phones with external storage also allow encryption of data on the micro SD card. Generally, you'll find the commands by going to Settings, 
then security, then tap on encrypt external SD card. The menu names and locations may vary from device to device. In most cases, you'll be able to choose whether to encrypt the whole micro SD card, exclude or include media files in the encryption, or encrypt only new files but not the existing ones. Be careful when encrypting your SD card. Some devices reformat the card before applying encryption. Some devices let you turn off SD card encryption without wiping data, although other devices do reformat the card in the process of disabling SD card encryption. If you intend to share your micro SD card among more than one device, remember that SD card data encrypted by one device will not be readable on another device. You can also encrypt your data with the help of Android apps. Several of such apps are on the Google Play Store and usually offer more flexibility than Android's own native encryption feature. SSE, Universal Encryption App, and Encryption Manager are two simple and easy to use examples of such apps. To encrypt files using SSE, Universal Encryption App, just tap this button and select the file that you want to encrypt. Tap this button and enter a password. The app then encrypts the selected file. It's that easy! To prevent the app from retaining an unencrypted copy of the original file, toggle this option in the app's settings page. To decrypt a file, select an encrypted file and tap Decrypt. Type in your password when asked. The app then decrypts your file. The app includes a password vault that you can use to store your password securely. You can also encrypt and decrypt confidential text with the app's text encryptor. In the case of the Encryption Manager app, you'll need to set a PIN first time you launch the app. The PIN serves as a master key to all app features. Make sure you don't forget or mistype the PIN. If you provide an incorrect PIN more than six times, the app will automatically delete all your encrypted files. To encrypt a file or folder, tap this button and locate the file or folder. Long tap on the file and tap Manage Encrypted. Before encryption begins, you can tell the app to delete the original file after encryption. If you select a folder, you can also opt to include files and subfolders or delete empty folders after encryption. You can also choose what encryption algorithm to use. Encrypted files will appear on the app's main menu. Just tap on an encrypted file to decrypt the file and open it. You may not be fully aware of it, but your Android phone or tablet is a storehouse of precious personal or corporate information. Contacts, credit card information, emails, SMS, documents, files, and more. Would you easily hand these over to a stranger? Of course not. That's why you must enforce security measures on your Android device. In this video, I showed you how to safeguard your Android data through encryption. I hope you consider using encryption as an extra layer of protection for your precious data. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. Thank you for watching. And remember, the power of Android is yours.